Zombie Apocalypse. Hello friends, welcome to Eco Talks with Sneha Manerikar. In today's session, we'll start a few more questions from linear programming. So let us start our session with first question. LP model, that is linear programming model, is based on the assumptions of A, proportionality, B, additivity, C, certainty, D, all of the above. And the assumptions of linear programming model are all of the above, that is proportionality, additivity, and certainty. So these are the fundamental assumptions of linear program. First is constraints and objective functions are linear. That is linearity. It is called as assumption of linearity. Then next is the assumption of proportionality. It states that a constraint is proportional to the objective function. That is values are proportional. And second, third is the assumption of additivity. That is level of x1 that is one input or one variable should not affect the cost or benefit associated with the level of second activity that is x2 then divisibility says that the values of decision variables can be perfectly divisible or they can be taken in fractions and certainty says uh, assumes that responses to the values of variables are exactly equal to responses represented by the coefficients and fourth one is data that is formulating a linear program means to solve a problem assumes that the data are available to specify the problem well main major pro this one in linear programming is formulation of problem so if the data there is available uh, correctly then only you can formulate the problem correctly so data is an important assumption so these are the assumptions of linear programming that is linearity proportionality additivity divisibility certainty and last one is the data next question is dash assumptions means the prior knowledge of all coefficients in the objective function the coefficients the constraint and the resource values that is prior knowledge of all the coefficients in objective functions coefficients in constraint and resource values a proportionality b certainty C, finite choices. D, continuity. Answer is certainty. When you have prior knowledge, that you are certain about the coefficients, that is the assumption of certainty. This model assumes that responses to the values of the variables are exactly equal to the responses represented by the coefficients. Then it is called as certainty. Next question is a simple linear programming problem with dash variables can be easily solved by the graphical method. A, one decision variable. B, four decision variables. C, three decision variables. D, two decision variables. Answer is, by graphical method, we can solve the problem having two decision variables. You can see here, there are two decision variables, X and Y. So in such cases, we can use graphical method to find the optimum solution. Next question, any solution to the LPP, that is linear programming problem, which satisfies the non-negativity restriction of the linear programming problem is called A, unbound, unbounded solution, B, optimal solution, C, feasible solution, D, both A and B. Answer is C, feasible solution. When our last uh, constraint will be non-negative restriction, that is, all the variables that is x1 x2 x3 should be greater than or equal to zero and this condition is satisfied by a certain set of values of x then it is called as feasible solution next question is any feasible solution which which optimizes that is minimize or maximize the objective function of the linear programming problem is called its a optimal solution b non-basic variables c solution D basic feasible solution. Answer is optimal solution. That is now so, uh, suppose if the um, objective function is maximize z. So the values of the variables or co coefficients which gives the maximum value of z that is called as optimal solution. Or if the objective function is minimize z and, and the values of the x that gives the minimum value for z is called as the optimal solution first the solution need to be 
feasible solution after feasible from the set of feasible solutions the optimal solutions will be calculated next question now let us see the uh, definitions of all the concepts first one is solution that is a set of values that is x1 x2 xn and which satisfies the constraint of linear programming is called the solution there can be any number of values of x that can satisfy the all the constraint those so such values are called as solution from these solutions the values which satisfy the non negative restrictions are called as the feasible solution and optimum solution is from set of feasible solution the values which optimizes the objective function is called as optimum solution so first one will be the solution which satisfies the constraint then solution which satisfies the non negative restriction that is feasible solution and feasible solution which optimizes the objective function is the optimal solution next question is a non degenerate basic feasible solution is the basic feasible solution which has exactly m positive xi that is i is equal to 1 to up to m that is none of the basic variable is a infinity b1 c0 d x so in case of non degenerate basic feasible solution basic variables will be zero that is none of the basic variable is zero that is they are non zero basic variables will not be equal to zero in case of non degenerate basic feasible solution and in case of degenerate solution uh, ba basic feasible solution is said to be degenerate if one or more basic variable are zero and non degenerate none of the basic variables are equal to zero that is then it is called as non degenerate solution what is also defined as non negative variable which are added in the lhs that is left hand side of the constraint to convert the inequality that is less than inequality into an equal equation that is equality equation a flat variable b simplex algorithm c key element d none of the above answer is the non negative variable which is added to lhs is the flat variable and here you can see it is a variable that is added to the left hand side of the less than or equal to type constraint to convert the constraint into equality in economic term slack variables represent the left over or the unused capacity now suppose a constraint is a1 uh, x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 up to an xn that is less than or equal to bi now here less than sign indicates that there is some part which is left or all unused so to count this unused part we add a slack variable that is x s i so this is the this is added on the left hand side of the constraint equation to convert less than inequality into equality and then again we have two variable that is surplus variable and artificial variable these are added used in case of converting greater than uh, constraints in equal type now surplus variable it is a variable that is subtracted from the left hand side of a greater than or equal to type constraint to convert the constraint into equality it is also known as negative slack variable because we are subtracting it it is with negative sign so it is called as negative slack variable in economic terms surplus value represent over fulfillment of the requirement that is over utilization is expressed by the surplus variable now here you can see here it was greater than equal to constraint to convert it into equality we have subtracted si that is surplus variable now here common reason if lhs is greater than rhs to make it equal we have to subtract something from the lhs then it will be lhs is equal to rhs and when lhs is less than rhs so to make it equal you have to add something to the lhs so that it will become both lhs will become to equal to rhs then artificial variable these are the non negative variable in, introduced to facilitate the computation of initial basic feasible solution in other words a variable added to the left hand side of the 
greater than or equal to type constant to convert the constant into equality is called as artificial variable now this artificial variable is also added, uh, used in greater than or equal to constants only to make now we have subtracted something to neutralize this we have artificial variable that is a in the constants when we convert greater than or equal to in the equality next question is a set of values that is x1 x2 up to xn which satisfy the constraint of linear programming is called a solution b variable c linearity d none of the above answer is this solution the set of values which satisfy the constraint is the solution next question a basic solution which also satisfies the condition in which all basic variables are non negative it is called as basic feasible solution when the uh, basic variables they are non negative and also it satisfies the all the constraint then it is called as basic feasible solution next question is an objective function is maximized when it is a dash function a passive b profit c cost d none of the above answer is the objective function is maximized when it is a profit function it is the obvious thing that whenever it is we are dealing with profit we aim to maximize it and whenever we are dealing with the cost we aim to minimize it so whenever profit function objective function will be maximize maximize z and whenever it is a cost function it will be minimize z next question is lpp is exactly used in solving what kind of resource allocation problem a production planning and scheduling b transportation c sales and advertising d all of the above answer is all of the above we have seen the applications of linear programming so it is used in production planning transportation sales and advertising it is uh, lpp has the very broad scope or application in our daily life next question is for solving an assignment problem which method is used a hungarian b american c german d both are incorrect that is american and german are incorrect answer is hungarian hungarian is method is used to fall, uh, calculate the assignment problem assignment problem is nothing but task assignment that is which task should be assigned to now suppose there are four people and four tasks then which task should be assigned to which person depending upon his efficiencies this can be calculated using the hungarian method that's all about today's session if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you <laughs>